What's up everyone? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So a number of you have been blowing up the comment sections in my other video and I've been looking at the comments and sitting down because it's been such an exhausting week. Work is about to start up for me and all of this news is coming forward. But there is something that kind of struck me today and I hope you you pretty much forgive me in advance because of how I actually felt about some of this stuff and I'll explain myself in this video. So we got two news drops today, one of them surrounding a villain, one of them surrounding one of the knights, and the news surrounding one of the knights has been one that we've been looking forward to for a very long time. This is that Jason is, you know, possibly we're going to be getting a character trailer for Jason Todd, and it's going to drop at the same time it usually drops, 6 a.m. Pacific time, so make sure that you set your alarms depending on where your time zone is. We're going to be seeing something regarding this particular character. Now here's the funny thing about this particular reveal. They revealed this on top of some of what IGN had been doing, where IGN pretty much did a first look on Mr. Freeze and, you know, talking about the regulators who are a faction that's going to be working with him. And, you know, in all of my tiredness and exhaustion, I did not care about this Mr. Freeze news. Not because anything was wrong with it. Please don't get me wrong. It's just because it came at the same time as one of the most anticipated pieces of information that we've been looking forward to. And for most of you who know, for some crazy reason, Jason Todd is one of the most anticipated night that everybody would like to see a little bit more details about. The last time that we got to see him in this Nightwing and Red Hood gameplay, it wasn't necessarily the most clean gameplay sequence that we got. I don't know if that's just the core design of his character or if it was something where overall this is something where somebody was playing and did not necessarily wow us with some abilities. So maybe it might be a thing where we get an unlocked version of Jason and we can see some really cool aspects of him. He's a very cool character. The way he's been written into the Bat family has actually pretty much enamored everyone that has encountered him. I don't know, some of you, you are more in tune with the comics than I am, so your discovery and knowledge of Jason is huge. It's really deep. Some of you even pointed me to the comic where he actually has abilities that are mystical in nature. And I thought, man, I did not know they actually did my boy like this and actually expounded a lot of different aspects of him. The very first time I saw him was in Under the Red Hood, and that was a big, huge turning point as to how I saw and viewed all of the Bat Family members. Him especially, he's the most interesting, in my opinion. Now, we may argue that it could be Nightwing, some may argue that it's Barbara, some may argue that it's Robin, but this is just my own personal opinion. And so I think that's something that really kind of shocked me as to how I did not necessarily feel excited about the regulators because I've just been quietly, yes, looking forward to hearing more and seeing more about Jason Todd. Now, here's the thing that I wanted to go ahead and talk about regarding expectations. One thing about hype and one thing about gameplay reveals and all of the above is sometimes we get super excited and for some strange reason, our expectations can soar higher than they need to. Gotham Knights is a decent game from all of what we've seen so far. Many people have concluded that they don't think this game is going to wow them in any way, but they're still excited to play it because it's in the Bat family. Some people think it's going to wow them. There are all kinds of opinions out there. So what I want to do is I want to say, if you're going to be looking forward to this, you want to go in there with leveled expectations. I know everyone is excited. I know everyone is pretty much, you know, trying to see something cool, but they're going to do their regular trailer. And then hopefully we get to see some of those little Instagram gameplay things that they do. And we're going to see Jason interact with the open world and we'll be able to kind of sh get the character showcase a little bit more of what he's about. And so another really interesting thing, too, that not, not a lot of people talked about was in this particular gameplay, there seemed to be some really weird aspects of his, uh, you know, mechanics that did not necessarily resonate with me. And, you know, I guess maybe because of the frame drops, we weren't able to pretty much, uh, you know, assess in a very good way how he's really designed and how he's built, because uh, some things just really did not sit well with me. Let me show you one of them real quick so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. So if he's shooting all these other guys, right? And you're going to notice that once he walks, he's going to go all the way down to this side. He's going to do a dodge slide or whatever, probably trying to get away from, you know, bullet fire. And then watch very carefully as he comes to this bad guy. He's about to do a finisher. 
look very well. It seems like he misfires. Look at that. He hits him in the head. Then he shoots in the air while he's trying to adjust his weapon. I don't know if that was a big error of some kind or that's a glitch. So not only did we see Jason in a way where he didn't seem fluid, I saw that one glitch and I said to myself, hmm, I'm glad they said this is a work in progress. So hopefully they're showing us a Jason that is much more polished that, you know, has been cleaned up and we're not getting those interesting jitters when we get to see him in his own gameplay and, you know, character reveal. We're not going to see anything like that. That's already curated and cut to be something that it already is. So I wanted to just basically just, you know, talk about this, talking about expectations, talking about how the Mr. Freeze stuff, we can examine that after the character, uh, you know, trailer uh, for real. Let's just kind of let Mr. Freeze stay in his own little ice box or something. And then when we're done examining Jason, when we're done talking about one of the more anticipated nights, we're going to come back and we're going to discuss that. All right. Thanks so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you guys' time and audience. Shout out to all of you here in the community that continue to, you know, keep me informed, that continue to participate in the channel, that are all, always, always on, you know, on point when it comes to the news and when it comes to the new happenings surrounding Gotham Knights. You guys are the legends. I just come here and you guys make my work easy. And so thank you so much. We'll talk very soon, folks. Thanks again. Peace out.